got a package! This time it's a big one! Oh yeah, baby! And it comes all the way from the US of A. From a little state you Americans might know called Oregon, Oregon, however you want to pronounce it, it's up to you. From a company that I'm sure many of you frequent watchers of my stuff know of, known as Afaku. Yeah, that's right. The biggest henty company in all of the world, essentially, has uh, sent me a late birthday present. I wasn't even aware that they were going to send me anything, but uh, my boy Jacob, who is the CEO of Faku and a good friend of mine, said, Hey, you know what, Joey? You've worked so much with us in the past, and we love what you do, and you love what we do, so hey, a gift from us to you. Happy birthday, my boy. So I asked him, is it okay if I show off the stuff on video as long as it's censored? And he said, of course. So that's what we're doing today. I've opened the box slightly, but I still haven't seen inside. And, uh, you know, there might be some things in here that might not be safe for YouTube. So uh, I'll just describe it to you. But let's see what they sent me. I'm excited because this thing is also really goddamn heavy. And, uh, ooh, oh my God, there is a lot of stuff in here. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, this is awesome. Okay, so first of all, we have uh, this thing. It is the Butcher U Box, the complete Pooters collection. What? So I do know of uh, Pooters. This is obviously a parody of Hooters, created by Butcher U, who is the artist for this. But this is a complete Pooters collection. I actually don't... You know what? Let's open this, because I actually have no freaking idea what is even inside of it. Okay, so it looks like there's like a bunch of books. Let me let me look at them first, in case I can't show... Yeah, I definitely can't show you this. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. What? Okay, so it is uh, six... Dojins. I can show you the back of these, I guess? It's six Dojins, as you can see. These are the back. I definitely can't show you the front of these, though, because... Holy crap. I've never actually read any of the Pooter's books before. Um, I do know of this artist, though, because, uh, they, they make really nice art. Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna take my time with these, actually. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. Inside of the box, it also came with, uh, a little menu here. This is the Butcher You menu. <laughs> it makes it look like the uh, the Hooters menu, I guess. Uh, I'm not gonna read any of these out though, because these are basically the titles of the six books that are in it. But uh, yeah, F for those of you who know, you know. Uh, we've also got another book here. Uh, this is Netorasare by Kono Mishikishiro. I've never heard of this artist before, but this looks like something that Connor might enjoy, so guess who's getting this as an early Christmas present. We got a bunch of t-shirts here as well. Uh, oh! <laughs> oh my god! Here is a, uh, Asanagi Ahego button-down. Uh, well, you know that, uh, I'm gonna make a fucking Instagram post on this, because I don't actually have an Asanagi Ahego, like, shirt or tracksuit or anything, so... This is gonna be nice to wear. There's also this shirt. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. This is the Abandoned Princess of the Decay, which is a series I've never heard of. But look at, look at this, man. It's like kind of like glitchy and like 8-bit horror, like Ghosts and Goblins type of vibe, but also a little bit of like early 2chan like horror story material. I really like this aesthetic, actually. It's very, very cool. And this is one of those like Faku shirts that you could just like wear outside, so. That's really dope, actually. I, I really like this shirt. We got another Faku shirt. This one is <laughs> classic Metamorphosis Saki t-shirt. Look at that. Very nice, very cultured. I actually don't have anything Shindo L related. And that's really cool too. Like the kind of decay, the color decay style. Very nice. We also have another Faku shirt, but it is of like a beige color, which I think is a first for Faku. Oh, it's a Yandere shirt. Okay. Just a simple Yandere shirt of a Yandere saying, you piss me off. Tell me you're a Yandere without telling me you're a Yandere. I think this might actually be the first, like, again, beige colored shirt from Faku. I don't think I've ever seen or owned this kind of color from Faku, but I, it works. I really like it. It's not really a color that I wear often or I own very often, but it's kind of off-white color. This like cream color, I guess you can call it. However you want to call it. And the art is nice. I want to know who the artist is more than anything. It doesn't say who the artist is, but if anyone can tell me in the comments, please let me know. Oh yeah, this stuff. Okay, so I was also notified by Jacob who sent all this stuff that there isn't just uh, Faku stuff in here. Uh, there's also stuff from Demper, and uh, they're actually releasing a bunch of Kaiji shirts. Look at this, dude. They're releasing a bunch of Kaiji shirts, and apparently these are not on sale right now, and he's told me I'm the first person in the world to own these Kaiji shirts. So, uh, yeah. Bit of a flex. These are fucking awesome. This one's a long sleeve right here with Kaiji 
on it holding a bunch of cash and I mean, you know, I love me my kaiju. If you guys saw the video on this channel where I talked about 10 manga series similar to Squid Game, go check that out in the corner of the video right there if you haven't seen it. Uh, then I obviously mentioned kaiju. I feel like this is such a slept on series and now I finally have some kaiju shirts, dude. And long sleeve. You know, this is the perfect time for long sleeves and I love me my fucking long sleeves. I'm actually going to trash taste tomorrow, so I'm gonna wear this in a trash taste episode, so you might see it in a future trash taste episode, so keep an eye out on that. Here's another, uh, a little more of a thicker one right here, also from Demper. This one's nice and clean, has the Zawa Zawa, which is perfect, I love it. This one's, yeah, a little thicker, uh, looks like it's fleece on the inside, so, again, perfect for the upcoming winter season. Repping some world first kaiji merch right here, o official kaiji merch, let's go. We've also got some smaller goodies as well, man, this really is just coming with everything, isn't it? We've got these neat little metallic... Uh, metamorphosis bookmarks. These are pretty cool actually. I thought they were magnets at first, but no, they're not. They're just cool little metallic bookmarks. Yeah, sucky on both sides. That's pretty dope. Got some Faku stickers as well. I mean, I have a couple of these, but I don't think I've ever had these before. This is like a cute little collection of Faku stickers. I really like these. Some Faku face masks. These are gonna be quite handy. I might wear this tomorrow actually. You can never have enough masks in Japan. We've got a bunch of Faku 90 day prepaid subscriptions, which uh, I honestly might do like a giveaway on in my next stream so uh yeah if you like to get 90 free days of uh faku then i guess uh tune into my next stream twitch.tv slash the anime man check it out and to top it off we have a cute little letter right here it says joey i think this might have been from uh jacob so let's give it a read shall we it says happy belated birthday joey thank you for always being a proud faku supporter i know it's not always easy with all the shitty people on the internet but it means a lot to me and all the hard-working people at faku I picked out some merch for you in this box. Hope you like it. Happy birthday, Jacob. Oh, that's so fucking cute. God damn it, I miss Jacob. He's fucking awesome. Thanks, bro. And there is one really big one here. What is this? Yo, is this a jacket, dude? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Okay, first of all, I love this coloration. Look at this. So this is a Faku collaborating with... Hyokoro, which is a artist that I really like and uh, oh man, what is this material? I don't know what it is, but it's got Faku on the sleeves there and then in the back uh, I might have to do a little bit of centering for this one. I mean Melty Gaze is a series that I am fully aware of and I'm not sure if this is something I can wear publicly in Japan I might get stopped for it. I don't know, but hey It's worth it for that drip. I absolutely love this material. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be posting photos of some of this merch uh, on my Instagram. So, hey, follow me there if you haven't yet. And to top it all off, I can't believe they actually sent me this. No wonder this package was so fucking heavy. They sent me another skateboard. Uh, so if you guys don't know, uh, Faku has a bunch of skateboards that they sell. I have uh, a bunch of them. I have five of them in my room right now. And I guess this is a uh, another one that they sent to me. I haven't seen the back of this yet, so let's uh, look at it together, shall we? Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh shit! It's Project Melody. Look at that. Oh yeah, I had heard about this uh, collaboration that Faku and Project Melody were doing. But oh, that's fucking awesome, dude. Neko Works, Faku, and Project Melody. That looks super nice. I love the coloration of that. Another one to add to my collection. Melody, if you're watching this, there you go. You are you are officially part of my collection now. You are going up on the wall over there next to my uh, Kago Shintaro skateboard. That's kind of awesome. I didn't even ask for any of this stuff, by the way. I guess Jacob just knows what I like. He gave me another skateboard for my collection. He gave me some nice Faku drip and some Kaiji drip, some world first Kaiji drip and a bunch of books. What more can this cultured gentleman ask for than that? Oh, and he gave me a bunch of lanyards as well. Simple and clean. Just how I like them. Big, big thank you to Jacob. If you're watching this, brother, I appreciate that man for sending me some cool shit. Um, I'm definitely going to be, like, posting photos of some of the, like, more drippier type of stuff over on my, probably my Twitter and Instagram. So, uh, links to both of those are always in the description. So, go check them out. And it goes without saying, but big, big, big shout out to the folks over at Faku. Um, I, I do a lot of stuff with them and I like to keep doing stuff with them. They're fucking awesome at what they do. If you love your cultural stuff, please go support them because they are doing 
God's work. What an awesome impromptu birthday present. I really appreciate that. But yeah, guys, let me know what was your favorite thing that I showed off in this video. And uh, if you enjoy this video, then hey, smack my face right now to subscribe. And over here next to my head are a couple more videos that you can go check out on this channel. I'm trying to grow it out. So let's keep making that big number bigger. Give me any suggestions for video topics as well down in the comments below or over on my Twitter. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.